Now we start them off slowly. The first night you take it easy on them. You just show them the ropes. The second night you, you bring them on a little bit more and the tour night and so on. So it's like a stepping stone, you know what I mean? Like Ron was a bit of the day. I knew Ron was the best part of my life. I joined them on a seven. I was led to junior champion in 1982 and I was running was up in the senior title in 1984. So I, 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 I know what it's like to get hit. Well, it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't really hurt. You know, it's it's more. You know, it's very sh it's very short and sharp. You know what I mean? So it's not prolonged pain. It's just uh, and and at this age, like 12 and 13, you don't really feel it. You know, it's it's all very well protected. You're wearing headgear, big gloves, and there's somebody in in the ring with you. So you're not being you're not being hurt at all. Are we train Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. And they're always here. Hey, rain or snow. Well, it kind of—I suppose—it gives you discipline. I mean, it's the old age saying, isn't it? You know, it gives you discipline, but it does work. You know, it's kind of like being in the army, I'd imagine. So it's, it's pretty disciplined. You know, you've got to train, you've got to listen. So you've got to do what you're told to, to kind of move you on to the next step. You know, so you've got to listen to adults and kind of kind of relate to them and and be able to talk back and express yourself as well. And it's all kind of controlled. Well, I see, when they grow up, they respect their mothers and fathers. You see them opening and closing doors for people. You see them getting, standing up on the bus, letting all the people sit down. So it takes them an awful lot of respect. Because some decent ones. You know, the fats now, you know. So we want to hold on to them and keep with them. You get a champion, you feel champion the other you know. Which over the years, that's what we had in this club. We always had champions. Yeah. Years in and years out, yeah, they're coming and going all the time. There must have been hundreds and hundreds of people came out here. This was one of the best clubs in Dublin, in Ireland. For it, if we nearly had an international team at one time. The whole lot, from flyway up to heavyweight. We had a big fella here called Joe Wigan. He went away to the right way, hope he was caught. He's spared and trained. He's, he's great friends now with Mike Tyson. There's a piece actually out there on the wall of him, and it's signed for him to me. It's 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 a saviour for lads that's not involved with drugs, uh, drink, because there's a lot of that going on at the moment, drugs and drink. Um, all right, people have their problems up the flats, but there's plenty of lads that are clean lads, working lads, and if you hadn't got the likes of this to let off steam and. You know, uh, keep ourselves fit and tidy. We do it for seven man. There's actually two lads, three actually, in the club with us, the train with us, and they were actually into drugs, selling drugs, but they took their life around. They're workers, hard workers now. They come in here, you know, they're setting it down. Partly because this place was here. This was the outlet for them. This was somewhere to get in and occupy this house and keep ourselves fit and get a new hobby out of that one. You know, it's trying to pass it on because we, we spent so much time boxing, it's only 20 years more. You know, like training from like when you're nine to maybe finish fighting when you're 24 or 25. So it's a huge amount of fights and experience and you know, if you can give it back, and it's all free, and you know, you might see a kid and got, they're really talented, and maybe you can just get them into boxing, trying to, trying to, you know, if there's kids out there that want to learn, you've got to kind of take them under your wing and, and get them involved, you know, rather than let them go. Derek used to box for Ireland, and there's a lot of experience here. So we just try and pass that on.